So if you're hoping to hit any targets in games with a controller that doesn't have a gyroscope, you need to keep your sensitivity somewhat low. Unfortunately, this means you can't make big fast turns, and thus can't react to things behind you quickly. Instead of making your sensitivity higher and steepening your response curve, you can use acceleration. First, you'll have to set your own, local sensitivity for the stick. Uncheck the Use Global Sensitivity box. Second, in Advanced Options, choose the right and left directions of the high zone and assign mouse right and mouse left to them. These bindings are digital and work the same as setting mouse movements to buttons, which is why they'll be affected by settings in the Virtual Devices menu. Mouse sensitivity is going to be the max amount of acceleration you get. Mouse initial speed is how fast the mouse starts moving when you apply the digital input, but in this case there's no reason to have it above the minimum value since you can adjust your sensitivity at full stick deflection using the stick response curve from before. Mouse acceleration determines how quickly the initial speed changes to the max speed determined by mouse sensitivity. Currently it's very slow even when maxed out, but that's supposed to be improved in the future. Again, this isn't how fast the mouse speed increases, it's how fast it reaches its maximum value, so the higher your mouse sensitivity setting, the quicker your total turn speed will increase in the game at the same acceleration value. With that set up, I can now make big rotations just a little bit faster while keeping the sensitivity reasonable even when I tilt the stick to its maximum deflection for a brief period, because the acceleration increases the turn speed only if I hold the stick there for a bit longer. 